Hello crafters, my name is Amy Cummings and welcome to Cook TV. Today I'm going to be making with you a Christmas decoupage card, ideal to give a loved one at Christmas. This is the card that I will be making. With the card I'll also be making a mini envelope and also a Christmas decoration. To make this card you will need to use these two sheets available from Cup. If you go to www.craftsyprint.com forward slash Amy Cummings to order this card front you need to go on to cup 126963 and for the set decoupage section sentiments and the mini envelope you need to go to 126965. To make this card you will need some just plain A4 card stock which will then be scored. You'll need some scissors, craft knife, double sided tape, just your basic accessories. Okay, so first of all, I've got my card front, which I'm firstly going to add the large section to here. I've already added the tape, so I'm just going to peel it off now. Once I've got that peeled off, I'm going to line that up on the card. And flat it down like so. Now the next section for this card is the second largest piece there after that, which is the tray with the two hearts. So this I've added two male foam pads. I tend to, for decoupage cards that are no more than three or four layers, I do tend to tick, stick to two mil. If you are going to post a card, maybe bring it down to one mil. Just going to take the uh, foam parts off here. I'll not take them all off for the um, demonstration, but I do recommend that obviously you take them all off to make sure that they stick properly. So once I've done that, then going to line that up with the main image on the card and flat that down like so there. Okay, so after this one we've got the two hearts. Don't know about you crafters, but no matter how careful I am with these foam pads, I always end up with little white squares around the house that look like confetti. So once I've done that again, line it up with the main image and flat it down there. Finally we've got the last heart to add there. And we add that one to the card. And finally, to just finish the card off, I'm going to add the sentiment. For this one, I've chosen to the one I love at Christmas, but also available is to my husband at Christmas and to my wife at Christmas. a nice holly strip on the card in which to add it to so I'm just going to centre that up the best I can don't forget that handmade cards aren't meant to be perfect as they are handmade so don't worry if you are off centre or anything as they still look beautiful nonetheless ok so that is the actual finished card and as you can see if I turn the card sideways you can see all the layers on that card there which gives a lovely 3D effect. Now I'm just going to make the envelope. Now for the envelope, it's just the two large hearts that you can see on this craft sheet here. Now on the back of one of the hearts, I've added tape just like so it fills no more than the bottom half of the card and just around the edges as well. 
So I'm just going to peel the layers off there. Okay, and then to that, I'm then going to add this heart. It's basically on the two white sides facing each other as you sit them down. And just rub the edges as so make sure that the uh, tape sticks. Then to that, I'm just going to add foam pad one of the little hearts that's on the sheet there, just to give it a bit more of a decorative feel. central to that heart. Okay, once you've done that you will find that the, it will open like so. What a perfect thing to give your loved one. Why not fill it with some chocolates as a nice little treat. Also ideal for Valentine's Day. Now to, to make it into a bauble all you have to do is just cut a hole into the heart and put some ribbon through and tie it that then makes a nice little decoration that you can hang on the Christmas tree now if you like what you've seen today then if you just go to www.craftsuprint.com forward slash Amy Cummings to see the rest of my designs but for this specific design just go to cup126963 and cup126965 Thank you for watching today and happy crafting.